Hi guys, welcome to my channel and my video and tonight I'm going to be cooking a teriyaki beef stir fry for the very first time ever. I have my phone here, the recipe is on it. It's an American recipe which I did not realise until literally I was about to start filming but it just means I'm going to have to do some conversions with cups and things like that. But hopefully Hopefully it'll be fine. I should have guessed really when the list of ingredients said cornstarch, which of course we call corn flour. So I have got everything, I hope. I hope this will turn out right, but whether it does or not, I'm vlogging it anyway. So I'm gonna start by marinating the beef, which I do in a bowl with, it says one tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm, doing the recipe for two rather than, I mean, this apparently serves three. So I'm probably just gonna do half a tablespoon of soy sauce and hope that's enough. So the brief is marinating and chilling in the fridge. I'm going to attempt to make the teriyaki sauce now. So definitely gonna need the foam. So I'm gonna need soy sauce. Rice vinegar. Maple syrup, minced garlic, chopped ginger, and cornstarch, which is corn flour in the UK, um, and also some water. So, a third of a cup soy sauce. Third of a cup is 79 grams soy sauce. That's a lot. I'm actually reducing it. I'm doing a quarter cup just because I'm doing less meat than the recipe. So I've got my 59 grams of soy sauce. What do I need next? quarter cup of water, that's 59 grams, so, and everything else is a tablespoon, so, uh, why can't I maths? I'm gonna be here for hours trying to do maths. So instead of a tablespoon, I'm gonna do half a tablespoon and then a quarter of a tablespoon, which might not be quite right, but it's what I'm doing. So I am washing the measuring spoon in between each ingredient, just so you know. So the quarter cup water, which is 59 grams. This does not smell very nice. It's mostly like vinegar. So we then want, it says three tablespoons of maple syrup. I'll do that probably last, we'll do the garlic first. So one tablespoon of garlic, very lazy garlic like me. This stuff is strong. <laughs> oh God, this is gonna be um, an experience to eat. And then I've got a very lazy ginger. It's meant to be minced ginger, but this is chopped ginger, so fuck it. <laughs> it's the wrong kind of ginger. Oh. Mm. Yeah. God, this is really difficult to get out because there's so much liquid. Okay. No, don't fall off. Right, I think that will do for the ginger, it's very powerful. And then it was one tablespoon of cornstarch, so I'm gonna just put in uh, the same measure of corn flour that I've been doing, that sort of two thirds of a tablespoon. And then I'll get my tablespoon measure out and I'll do 
two tablespoons rather than three of maple syrup. Could have just bought teriyaki sauce from the supermarket. Probably should have done that. But we wouldn't have been as entertaining for you guys. At least I hope this is entertaining. Finally, maple syrup. At least if I hate this, we can always order pizza. So fuck it up. Oh my god. My glamorous assistant. Every chef needs a sous chef. maple syrup. Right, that's that done. It actually does smell like teriyaki sauce. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Of course I'm gonna need vegetables for the stir fry. So we have water chestnuts which it took me forever to find but they were in Sainsbury's near where the Italian food is not as I thought where the Asian food is because you know stir fry but that is where you will find these in Sainsbury's at least mine if you're looking for them a red pepper mange too and spring onions also known in Scotland as scythes so I'm going to wash and chop the pepper and onions for now. Uh, Mange too, I think I'll be to go. And the washed chestnuts just need to be drained and then added. So I'll do them a bit later. Uh, so yeah, washing and chopping. For me, cooking like this isn't about having control or anything like that. I've discovered that I really, really enjoy cooking, especially when I'm making a meal for someone I really care about. And I know I'm going to be enjoying the food with him once I've made it. And it just makes, it makes everything so different and so much more positive than the eating disorder ever did. I will say, feel absolutely free to criticise me in the comments section for everything that I'm doing wrong here because Trust me, I know I am doing it wrong. I just don't know how I'm doing it wrong. But do it nicely, please. I'm a beginner at cooking. I know it's shocking at my age, but I have had an eating disorder, so that is the reason. And I think that's a valid one. So I'm just gonna put this to one side. I'm gonna chop this and then pop it in a bag in the freezer. I'm just going to put the pepper that I'm going to be using into a bowl and I'm going to do the same with the spring onions. I'm going to put half of them in the stir fry and the other half in the freezer and I'll probably do the same thing with the mange too just because it saves me having to buy more. I don't cook like this if I'm only cooking for me. It's only if I'm cooking for others as well, but it's a start. Right, you don't need to watch me chopping veg, so I'm gonna leave it at that, but trust me, I'm gonna get through the rest of these. That's my little bag of stir fry veg ready for the freezer. So it's now time to get on with the actual cooking. I have just stir fried the beef and forgot to film it. So it's sitting here in this bowl, cooked while I do the veg. The only veg I'm not going to add at this stage are the water chestnuts. These are the noodles that we will be having and you just add one mess per person to boiling water. It's very hard to hold a packet 
of noodles still when I'm also trying to stir fry veg. So in a minute, I'm gonna be adding the water chestnuts and the beef and the sauce and leaving it to simmer. Uh, and I also need to cook the noodles. Drained water chestnuts going in. And beef. And then finally, the sauce, and you just leave it to simmer for four minutes, apparently. And this is the bit where I asked my glamorous assistant to take over so that I could get started on washing up some dishes. Yep, I'm practical that way. Well guys, here it is, plated up and good to go. Just hope it's nice. <laughs>